Welcome once again to Channel 18, and our first guest today is Lee Culver, the town's uh, emergency coordinator. And uh, Lee wants to uh, bring us up to date and talk about a uh, program that's going on out in was it Hyannis, Hyannis Community right? Uh, to do with uh, town safety, particularly with hurricanes. <laughs> What's, uh, what's the story on the hurricanes, Lee? Uh, well, according to the National Weather Service, it's supposed to be a light yes, which is good. Yes. But in anticipation of that, the uh, National Weather Service, in conjunction with the uh, Federal Emergency Management Agency, the Mass Emergency Management Agency, the American Red Cross, and Eversource, our utility, they're hosting a free hurricane workshop at the Cape Cod Community College on July 28th from 7 till 9 at night. Um, you'll be able to answer, ask any questions. They'll have answers for you. Um, they'll talk about uh, things that you can do ahead of time, things that you shouldn't do during <laughs> the storm, and uh, it should be good. It should be a, a good, uh, good workshop. A lot of good information. So I wanted the uh, townspeople to be aware of that. And why I'm here, I thought I'd talk about the. Uh, now, just, you know, yep. I was mentioning before you came on how uh, way back when we <laughs> interviewed you and I think Barbara Ann, and Barbara Ann had a great big box, and she had... To-go you know, kit. <laughs> To-go kit. To-go kit, right. Yep. Yep. Is this anything to, to uh, like that? I mean... No, is this, is, this is more, um, this is more information about hurricanes. Okay. Um... This is more information about uh, how the Weather Service predicts them and what mm -hmm. tracks they take. Um, Mass Emergency Management will talk about uh, the things that you can do ahead of time because obviously if we have a hurricane, we're probably going to lose power. If we have no power, you can't access the ATM, so you probably should have <laughs> some cash. Right. And batteries with a flashlight and maybe a portable radio if they still have those things. <laughs> um, the internet's probably not going to be up, so you you probably can't rely on that. So th those are the kinds of things that they'll be they'll be talking about. Well, that, that's good. Yep. You get those things yep. squared away. Um, there's a couple of ways that townspeople can get uh, information about storm alerts and things that are going on in the town. Obviously, we do have an emergency alert system. It's coordinated by the water department. Uh, you can call the water department if uh, you don't think you're registered, uh, or you can download the, the form on their website, uh, or my website, or the uh, town website uh, to fill out and send into the water department, and you'll be registered on the emergency alert system. We've also uh, rolled out a new Town of Howitch homepage um, that will also include um, any alerts, any weather alerts, any safety alerts that. Uh, that uh, are ongoing will be right there so that you can see those. And um, please stay tuned to Channel 18. I try to get as much information to Channel 18 mm -hmm. as things uh, progress when we're dealing with any type of, type of incident. And obviously, the local radios are going to have uh, closings and, and what's open and what's not, and they'll, they'll also have some updated information about, about what's going on. We also have a shelter in town. It's the Cape Cod Tech High School up in uh, mm -hmm. up on 124. It's a people and a pet shelter, so uh, you can bring your pets. Uh, they're maintained in one part of the building, and the people's shelter is obviously in another part of the building. Um, if you're advised to evacuate, please uh, please take that into to mind. We don't make that decision lightly mm -hmm. because we know people don't like to leave their homes, but. Um, if you're advised to, to evacuate, I would, I would request that you, you do so. If your power goes down, the only way it's going to get turned back on is if you notify Eversource, which used to be NSTAR, that you don't have any power. By calling the police and fire department, it doesn't do anything for you. You have to notify the utility. Um, they have a 1 800 number. Um, please use it. Please, uh, please notify them when you, when you lose your power. Uh, let's see. My last thing is, is have a plan. That's right. Have a plan. 
I mean, if, if you're in a low-lying area that's going to be exacerbated by high water, then you should have a plan to get out. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to shelter in place, then be prepared to do that. Have food for three or four days, water for three or four days. And this is food that you can cook that you don't have necessarily have to have power to cook. Um, remember your pets. They need food and water also. Um, have a communication plan. If you're down here on the Cape living and your kids are off Cape, make sure you touch base with them so they know where you're at or know that you're okay. Um, check on your elderly neighbors. If you have seniors living in your neighborhood, please check on them um, to see that they're, they're weathering the, the, the storm or whatever's going on well. Um, and my last thing again is to stay tuned to Channel 18, keep an eye on the town's homepage. Um, like I say, we'll get as much information up on those two areas so that you're informed and can make a good decision. We try and try and start talking about these things three or four days out, so you have you have some uh, you have some time to make make some decisions. Well, that seems to cover everything. Yep, it does. It does. So and uh, let's hope we have a quiet, quiet, quiet season. Season will be good. Yep. Uh, I know after the first storm, I got a generator. Yep. <laughs> I tell you, and that's worked good. Oh yeah. Yeah. So if you have one of those, you know, you can try and weather out the storm. Exactly. But uh, otherwise, remember what Lee has told you, and uh, prepare. So. Thank you for coming on. Okay, thank and you for having me. You're welcome.